Hey YouTube, Regitech here, and today we're going to be installing and reviewing the armor suit, full body shield, and the case friendly shield for the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. So the reason I'm featuring both these screen protectors in the same review is because I'm going to be using the full body protection version, but I'm going to be substituting the front screen protector from that box with the case friendly version. The reason behind this is that I'm going to be using this phone with numerous cases that have different design features. Although that full body screen protector will fit cases that have narrow borders, it won't fit cases that have a little wider border. So that leaves choices for cases very slim. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start laying out these supplies that were given in each box to get everything ready for this install. So first up we're going to go ahead and unbox the Galaxy Note 8 full body shield. So in this box, once you open it, you get the screen protector set right here. We'll just put that aside for now. And you get the squeegee and the solution as well as a microfiber cloth. So now we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at all of the different uh, screen protectors that you get included in this bundle. So here we have the front glass screen protector that we're going to be subbing out with the case friendly version. So we're just going to put that aside. And the next one you get does have all of the um, all of the protection needed for the whole phone, meaning the back glass as well as the sides and the bottom and top of the phone as well. So when I'm going to be installing this, I'm just going to be installing the back glass screen protector and the top and the bottom of the phone. Just because uh, when you're putting the when you're putting this phone into a case after putting this on, you're going to have issues with the sides coming off just because of how you apply a case onto a phone. And as you can see, it even does have a separate piece that goes for the top of the SIM tray. And you get the basic stuff that you get in any uh, screen protector box. You get their, your, for you to watch their videos and instructions as well as to visit their website. <clears throat> so putting that aside, we're just going to go ahead and take a look at what comes inside of the case friendly version right here. So opening up that box, the contents are pretty much the same. We do get that screen protector in that packet as well as getting the microfiber cloth, the squeegee, and the solution. So we're going to take a quick look at this screen protector as it does come single packed in this one bag. So you get the basic thank you for your purchase and to visit their website just like the last one. And here is that case friendly version of this screen protector. So we're just going to lay that down right here on this side. And now we're just going to go ahead and start installing this. I like to start installing with the back screen protector first and then going over to the top and bottom and then with the front. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and install the back glass screen protector first. So the first process of installing any screen protector is to make sure your screen is clean and has no smudges or dust. So we're just going to go ahead and take that nice little microfiber cloth that Armor Suit provided and you're just going to want to go ahead and give that screen a nice wipe down just to wipe away all of the dust and the smudges that are on the screen. And once you've gone ahead and cleaned the screen to your, the best of your ability and to your liking, you're just going to want to go ahead and what I like to do is take a can of compressed air and just give the screen a little blow just so that you know that there's no dust less no dust specks left behind on the screen. And once you've finished doing that, you're going to want to go ahead and take that solution that was included and spray your hands with the solution. Make sure that there's a nice amount applied to your hands. Then you want to go then you're going to want to go ahead and take your screen protector and spray a nice amount on that as well. And once you've done that, you're going to want to go ahead and t start peeling off the screen protector that you're going to be using first. Once you get it off, then you can just peel off the rest of it, like so. 
Next, you're going to want to go ahead and spray an ample amount onto that back side of the screen protector, just so that once you place it onto the screen, you have a nice and easy time just moving it around and installing it onto the screen. And once you've got it lined up correctly with your camera lens and uh, fingerprint sensor, as well as the edges of the screen, then you're going to want to go ahead and take that squeegee and just squeegee out all the excess um, solution that is under that screen protector right now. So before you start to do that, just go ahead and give the screen a little spritz and take that squeegee and start squeegeeing from the center. And the good thing about wet installations is that you can always go ahead and readjust while you're doing the process of installing. Okay, and once you've got your screen protector set the way you want it, just to get those edges to go down, you're going to want to let it sit for a little bit and dry up a little bit because of all the solution that you've just put on it. It makes it harder for the edges to adhere at the moment. So once you let that sit for about 5 to 10 minutes maybe, you can go ahead and start to press down the edges and they will start to adhere to the edges of the phone. So I'll be right back in about 5 to 10 minutes and we'll start to press down the edges so that they adhere to the edges of the back screen. And now that we've let this screen protector sit on this phone for a couple minutes and get a little dry, now we're going to go ahead and start to flatten out the edges. So what I like to do is take the back of my finger and just press down gently over the screen protector so that the edges conform to the rest of the phone. And just slowly make your way up while applying an even amount of pressure just so that the screen protector will sit. Now that you can see that the edges of the screen protector are perfectly curving over the edges of this glass back, that's how you know that you're finished with the back installation of this screen protector. So next up we're going to go ahead and flip the phone over and start doing the case friendly version of the screen protector. So now that we have the phone on the front screen side, we're just going to go ahead and do the same process over again. You want to make sure that that screen is fully clean before starting this install. And then we're just going to go ahead and take that compressed air just to make sure there is no excess dust on the screen. Okay, next up we're just going to go and go ahead and take our solution and spray our hands thoroughly so that they're nice and moist. And then we're going to go ahead and take that front screen protector that is the case friendly version and spray that as well. Then we're going to go ahead and just peel it off from this film. And once peeled off, you're just going to go ahead and spray it with a good amount of solution. Then we're going to go ahead and line this screen protector up with all of the sensors as well as the edges and bottom of the screen. And once you feel like you have lined it up to where it's even on all sides, you're just going to go ahead and take that squeegee and start to squeegee out the excess solution. And now we're just going to wait 
for the edges to dry up a little bit so that we can go ahead and press down the rest of the screen protector so that it adheres to the edges of the phone. So now that I've let this sit for a little bit, I'm just going to go ahead and start to press down on the edges and see if it starts to adhere. And you're going to want to go ahead and just take that microfiber and try and press it down as well, just to relieve all of the uh, liquid from the solution that may be lingering in the screen protector. Okay, so now that we have the front and back glass screen protectors installed on the phone, we're going to go ahead and install the top protector as well as the bottom protector. So to do that, it's the same process again. Just make sure that you get enough solution on your fingertips so that you can have that easy install. And you're going to want to go ahead and spray a little bit on that piece of protector that you're going to be applying to the phone as well. And once you peel that off, what I like to do is spray it from afar just so that it gets a little bit of a mist on it. And then just go ahead and take the phone and just position it right there on the phone like so. And then just move it around. And you're just going to want to make sure that it's lined up with that microphone up here at the top. And then once you le once you see that it's fully lined up with all the cutouts, press it down on all the sides gently without moving it so that it adheres to the curves of the midframe of the phone. And then just take that microfiber cloth and just wrap it over the top and just pull down a little bit so that it brings it right into place as well as removing any liquid from the solution from that piece of the screen protector. And just like that, you have the top portion installed. Then we're going to go ahead and install that little piece for the SIM card tray. So we're going to do the same process again. Make sure your hands are wet. And then you're going to want to start to peel off that piece of protector. And because our hands are wet and we don't want to get this too wet, just going to use the solution that was left on our hand and just go ahead and place it right on top of the SIM card tray. And then once you've got it in place and to where you like it to be, just go ahead and dab it with that microfiber cloth. And once you've got it perfectly lined up, you're just going to want to go ahead and let it dry. And now we're going to go ahead and install the last portion of this protector that we're going to install today. So it's the same process again. And just give it a little spritz from a distance away. So we're just going to line up the microphone, the speaker, the charging port, and the headphone jack. And now that everything is lined up and it's properly put into place, We're just going to go ahead and press it down using the same method that we did before. So just make sure that everything is proper. And put that little microfiber over it and just pull down. And once you remove the microfiber, you can make any slight adjustments that you need to make. But that looks pretty perfect to me. And now we're just going to put on the little piece that goes on the S Pen. So here's that S Pen's little plastic piece right there. So we're just going to go ahead and peel that off. 
it's a little tough because it's so tiny. There we go. And then just place that right on top of the S Pen. And once you've got that placed near the S Pen, you're just going to want to go ahead and drag it into place. And once you've dragged it into place, you can go ahead and take that microfiber and just do the same process again and flatten it down. So now that we've put on that little S Pen portion, we have finally finished completing installing the Armor Suit Full Body Protector with the case friendly screen protector on there. So now we just have to let this sit for about 24 to 48 hours for the best results and once we come back we'll see just how great everything settled in and see if that orange, orange peel effect comes into play. What's up guys so I'm back and it's been about 24 to maybe 30 hours and I've just checked on the screen protector. Now, I don't know if you guys can even see that the screen protector is installed onto the phone besides looking at the edges. It's a super crystal clear screen protector that does not have that ugly orange peel effect. Now, if it does have an orange peel effect, it is very minimal at the most, but I don't see a very terrible one there or I can't even notice that there is one actually. So, Looking at the screen protector, you can see that it is that case-friendly version, and that case-friendly version is defined because it is about a millimeter to a millimeter and a half away from the border of the phone on all edges. Now, this is so that when you apply a case to it, it will not raise up from the screen because it's designed to be used with any kind of case that's made for your Galaxy Note 8. Now, what most amazes me about this screen protector and what I'm most happy about is the sensor cutouts. Now as you guys can see here at the top, the sensors are perfectly cut out with this U-shaped um, cutout here at the top. Now this cutout evenly goes around all of the sensors and the earphone mic, the earphone piece. And as you can see, it also gives the sensors a little bit of leeway here at the edge so that the screen protector will not affect or hinder the use of any of the sensors. So, you know, going around to the back of the phone, you don't even notice that this screen protector is here at all. It looks like it's just the glass of the phone. That's how clear this screen protector is and how phenomenal the installation and how easy the installation is. You know, it's a very simple installation that gives you phenomenal results on your phone. And with this screen protector, your phone will be protected from bottom to top, which is my favorite part of it because... I don't want only the front glass to be protected, I want the back glass to be protected as well because that is another part of the phone and if any of the phone gets scratched or you know gets cracked it does not look good. So looking at the screen protector from the back you can see that it's applied by this little ridge right here next to this camera frame. So you can see that this screen protector does wrap around the entire screen. Now if I were to have used the full screen protector for the front, it would have had the same effect. It would have gone all the way down to the edges of the phone. And, you know, that would have only made it so that I can use it with certain cases that have a very slim border. So that would have made my choices very limited. So I like to keep my choices open so that I can easily switch out of each case and just go ahead and put on a new case depending on how I'm feeling that day. So coming around to the bottom of the phone, you can see it does have the screen protector um, applied to the bottom here. And you can see that the screen protector is perfectly cut out for the headphone jack, the power jack, the USB type C connector, sorry, the mic, the speaker, and it's even on the S Pen over here. Which is great because, you know, when you're either if you're going to use this uh, phone without a case or with a case, this screen protector is built to protect that. This armor suit military shield is designed to go over the whole phone. Now, had I put on the borders for the edges as well, I wouldn't even, even need to use a case. But since I am using a case and I know that the edges do come off with putting the cases on and off just because I've tried it before, you know, I'm not going to bother go ahead and install that because it's not really needed. But coming around here to the top of the phone, you can see the top screen protector is there. And, you know, it does have the cutout for the mic, for the SIM card tray, but they do include a little piece that goes over the SIM card tray, which is great. So the 
entire top of the phone is protected, not only just the edges around the SIM card tray, which is what I like the most. You know, so this screen protector is just a phenomenal screen protector. I've used it before. I don't know if you guys have checked out my Galaxy S8 Plus uh, screen protector review. I used an armor suit for that as well. You know, for all my phones, I use Armor Suit because it's a brand that I trust and I like the results that the screen protector has. You know, it's just phenomenal results that you can't really find with anything else. You know, giving this a little comparison with these that I did prior to this video, it had a very bad orange peel effect. Not only did it have a very bad orange peel effect, it didn't have the full coverage version. And with that orange peel effect, it does hinder your screen's productivity. You know, you get that rainbow effect on your screen. So we're just gonna go ahead and power on the screen just to see how the colors and everything look with this Galaxy Note 8's armor suit screen protector applied. You know, starting off with the phone already turning on, you can see that all the colors look stunning. You can't even notice that there is a screen protector on here while the screen protector is applied. And, you know, that makes all the difference when choosing a screen protector. You want something that is crystal clear, that's not going to look like anything is applied to the screen, because when you have a screen protector there, it's just for protection. You don't want to be able to see it, you don't want to be able to notice it, you don't want to have to worry about it making a difference in your screen. You want your screen's productivity and quality to stay the same, no matter what you use for your screen. And... This is why I choose Armor Suit. You know, this Armor Suit one is a great choice if you're looking for a nice wet installation screen protector. And let's go ahead and let's try it on with a bunch of different cases and we'll see how those cases look with the screen protector applied. So to start off with the cases, we're going to go ahead and start off with that Spigen uh, Ultra Hybrid S case that has the kickstand on it. Now, as you can see, this screen protector fits phenomenally well with this case. And it does leave that little bit of space at the edges of the corner so that, you know, it ensures that your case won't affect the screen protector at all. And, you know, that's a great part of this case and it looks phenomenal. So let's go ahead and move on to the next case that we're going to be trying out. So moving on to the next case, here we have the rugged crystal clear case for the Galaxy Note 8. And as you can see, this case also fits perfectly well with the screen protector applied. Now, you know, it does have that little uh, space right there still, and that's great because it won't affect the screen protector at all, no matter if how many times you put on or take off the case, which is something that you look for when you're getting a screen protector for your phone. Because no matter what, you're either going to want to clean your phone or you're going to just want to take off the case to change it out. So, let's go ahead and move on to the next case we're going to be featuring. So next up we have the Liquid Crystal case by Spigen as well. So all these cases that I have been featuring so far to this point and a couple more will be Spigen cases. So I'll be uh, putting links down to everything down in the description box below if you guys are interested in any of these cases at any point. But here's that Liquid Crystal case and as you can see this case looks phenomenal on this phone as well. You know, the biggest thing that I'm doing all these uh, reviews on these cases while the screen protector is here is because so that you guys can see how the screen protector fits with the cases and if these cases are compatible with any screen protectors. You know, uh, something I just noticed about this phone, this case, is what I like about it, is that for this Bixby button, it has a textured little uh, point here. And with that textured point, it makes you notice what you're clicking so that you're not accidentally trying to use the volume button and you click the Bixby button which is great and you know that's a very very nice textured point that they put there that I really think is very useful because there's been many times where I've clicked the Bixby button by accident. So next up we have the ultra hybrid crystal clear, crystal clear case for the Galaxy Note 8 also by Spigen and this case fits this screen protector with the phone phenomenally well as you guys can see it does have that little uh, space still that's left there for the screen protector uh, or that the screen protector leaves for the case so that the case doesn't affect the screen protector at all in any way. So let's go ahead and check out our next case. So next up we have the Rugged Armor Matte Black case from Spigen as well and you know I've gotta say this case is probably one of my favorites out of all of the cases I've tried on so far. This case looks so nice and sleek it has a very nice feel to it as well with that matte finish and the carbon fiber up here on the top and the bottom just looks so good. You know, I love this look of the phone just because 
the whole thing is black in the front, you know, it matches the screen, but the reason that Samsung went ahead and put this black border on the front screen, I don't know if everyone knows that, but it's not for the uniform look between the uh, cameras. It's really for that immersive experience with your phone. When the whole screen is black in the front, it makes it kind of like a movie theater experience. And I've been told that from a couple of Samsung representatives at the 837 store. And, you know, at first I didn't really like the fact that they used this whole, um, a whole black screen on all the phones. But with this case, I truly see the beauty in using that black uh, front screen. And this is probably one of my favorite cases so far. You know, I love the carbon fiber. And I also love that they included the textured Bixby button on this case as well. You know, it does leave a little bit of leeway between the screen protector and the case. And this case is phenomenal. So let's go ahead and move on to the next case. So here we have my favorite case out of the whole lot of Spigen cases right now. It's the Neo Hybrid Crystal case with a deep sea blue border. And this case looks great on the phone. I just love the look of that deep sea blue around the edge. But I also love that it does leave the back clear so you can see the orchard gray in the phone. And this case, it has a nice, uh, uh, nice flexible TPU border around it before you put on this um, bumper and the back is actually hard plastic so that gives you the very good dependability on this case because it has two or three different layers of protection there you know looking at this case it also does um, go com very compatible with this screen protector because it does have that little bit of leeway again there on the screen but this case also works on a full coverage screen protector if you guys checked out my review on the whale glass field screen protector you guys would have seen that and you know this case just looks phenomenal on this phone as well it's one of my favorite cases for this phone so let's go ahead and try out the next case next up we have the caseology parallax series case and this case also fits this phone very well and this case is also compatible with a full protection screen protector on the front of the phone as you guys saw in my whale screen glass field screen protector review as well this case looks incredibly well on this phone. It feels nice with that nice matte finish on the back with the textured body as well. And, you know, as you guys can see, this case looks very nice. The colors are great and it fits with this screen protector. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to our last case that we're going to be reviewing with this screen protector. So here it is, the last case I have for this phone. It is the official Samsung rugged protective cover case for the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. And, you know, what I just did notice with this case is that it adds a bit of weight to the phone. I mean, for me, I like a little bit of weight on my phone, but I don't think this much. And it's very bulky on the phone as well. But it's an overall nice case, and the reason I bought it is because Samsung actually added buttons to their cases. Well, to my knowledge, for the first time. And that's something that I like in a case, because I don't like to actually be touching the physical button to cause wear to the actual metal on the, on the button of the phone. You know, going down to the bottom, it has a very nice set of cutouts for everything on the phone. It fits very nicely, and it does have that nice kickstand that's barely even noticeable. That's not even noticeable on the phone, actually. And it fits this screen protector very well. This is also another one of those cases that can fit a full-body screen protector on it, as you guys saw in my Whale Glass Fill Screen Protector review. You know, so... Now that we've gone through all the cases and everything, we'll just set this phone right there. So I really want to thank everyone for watching my review and installation of the armor suit, full body shield, and case friendly screen protectors for the Galaxy Note 8. And I hope you guys liked my video so much that you guys would be kind enough to hit that like and subscribe button down below. And as I said in my description of my channel, I will be starting to do all these giveaways. I want to start giving away cases, screen protectors, and maybe some devices as well. So once I hit that 500 subscriber mark, all this will happen. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned how to install this armor suit case friendly and full body shield to your Galaxy Note 8. And I'll see you guys next time.